Hey there, my name is Jasmine. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests to share my story. Um, so I'm gonna try to make this as short as possible. Um, so basically, um, I guess I can start with where all my medical issues began. Um, back in 2008, I was diagnosed with a rare autoimmune disease called Good Pasture Syndrome when the antibodies attacked the lungs and the kidneys. Um, basically, I was drowning in the blood in my lungs and I was brought to the hospital. I was put into drug-induced coma on life support uh, for three and a half weeks. Um, I had to get steroids through the IV and they ended up treating me with chemotherapy for several months, um, which they told me would cause me to be sterile. Um, and uh, I, a few years after that, I actually ended up pregnant. I miscarried at three months. Um, and then a couple of years later became um, became pregnant again uh, with my daughter Aubrey. Um, she's very healthy. Uh, we kind of struggled a little bit during our pregnancy. I was induced early um, with her. Um, so I'm very blessed to have her. Um, she's definitely a miracle baby. Um, and then basically not long uh, after I'd had her, she was about a year and a half, I was having issues with my gallbladder. So I went to the hospital and they were working on removing my gallbladder when they noticed that my liver looked uh, a little bit odd. So they decided to do a liver biopsy on it. Comes back that I have stage three cirrhosis of the liver due to a different autoimmune disease called autoimmune hepatitis. Um, so, I had to pick out um, someone to go see for this, a hepatologist. Um, I started to see this doctor um, down, uh, his name is Dr. Belier, um, known to be a really good hepatologist. I had seen him for a few months. He had tried me on some medications and just didn't do well with me. Um, so I decided to go to uh, the Donor Dash and do the Donor Dash walk. And while I was there, I ended up uh, meeting some people that had told me about um, a different walk that was specifically for livers um, called the Liver Life Walk. So uh, that was like a month or so down the road. So I decided to go there. Um, my mother came with me and there was a doctor that was talking, making a speech. Um, he was also a hepatologist working for a different hospital. And something in my heart just told me to go and talk to this doctor, introduce myself and tell him what was going on with me. Um, and so I did, I went and spoke to him and uh, he said that he would love to be my doctor. Um, he basically picked up his phone right then and there, called his nurse, gave her my information and said, call her and schedule an appointment for her to be seen with me. And bam, I was in his office within a couple of weeks. And uh, in my heart, I just felt like that, that it was who I belonged with. I felt much better with him than I had did with the other doctor. Not saying the other doctor was a bad doctor. I just, um, something in my heart just didn't feel right. And um, so I have been seeing this new doctor, Dr. James Burton, um, for a few years now. And we've just been waiting for my condition to worsen um, to the point where my body is capable to have the transplant. And um, so my doctor uh, wants to do a living donor transplant. Um, so that way I don't have to spend a long time on the donor list. And uh, my best friend Jackie, uh, who we have been friends since we were seven years old, um, stepped up to the plate and said, I have the same blood type as you. What do I need to do? Uh, so I brought her along to a couple of my doctor's appointments. She had told him, um, I want to be her donor. What do I need to do for that to happen? He said, no offense, but you're going to have to lose a little bit of weight to even be considered as a candidate. And he said, I need you to lose at least 35 pounds for us to even test you. And so she did. She went to the gym. She busted her hiney and lost at least 35 pounds, if not more. Um, and that surprised my doctor. So they brought her in for all of the tests and um, met with a bunch of people that she needed to meet with. And uh, she did a liver biopsy 
and um, turns out she's a match for me. Um, there's a lot of tests that she had to pass for that. Um, they were really concerned with her size because she is smaller than I am. And they said that it's probably not going to work out with her being smaller like she is. Well, turns out that she has a bigger liver um, for her size than they thought that she would have. And so it turns out she's my donor. She's my match. And who would have ever thought that... Um, my friend since seven years old would end up being the one to save my life someday. Um, we have a scheduled surgery date for June 26th, 2018. Um, and I'm just super blessed to have Jackie. Uh, she just started a very well paying job. So she's putting her job on the line, um, to do this surgery for me. Um, she has two little kiddos. Uh, she has, um, Madison who is three, um, well, about three and a half now. And then she has Easton that just turned one in March. Um, so she's got a couple of kiddos, um, you know, and she's still just willing to do the surgery for me. Uh, it's just a complete blessing and such an um, amazing, selfless act of kindness. Um, I couldn't ask for a much better friend at all. Um, and my parents, you know, they're just willing to take care of me and help out with my daughter. Um, after the surgery, it's four to six weeks recovery, no driving, no lifting anything. So I can't lift my own child, neither can Jackie. Um, and that's extremely hard. Um, anyone that is a parent knows that the, the hug of your child and just everything like that is, um, it's going to be hard to not hold them. Um, but it's something that needs to be done. Um, the other things that makes this so special, um, I was married to Aubrey's dad, uh, and right after I was diagnosed with all of my liver issues, he decided to leave. Um, wasn't something that he really wanted to deal with. Uh, so I've basically been taking care of um, my daughter on my own since she was a year and a half while dealing with my medical issues. Um, it's uh, It's been a long road and I'm just ready to get this surgery done and over with and just be um, the best mom that I can be for my child. And um, I just really wanted to just share my story and uh, show and tell everybody about how there is still good people out there in this world through all of this crazy evilness that happens nowadays. Um, so, you know, it is possible to find those good people. And um, I just, I want... I want to share this with as many people as possible and um, give Jackie the shout out and the appreciation that she really deserves for being a good person that she is. Um, so if you guys could please share this video and give a shout out to Jackie, um, that would just be fantastic and greatly appreciated. And um, anybody that would love to say prayers um, and put out your positive vibes um, and thoughts, that would just be fantastic. Thank you so much for tuning in to my story. And uh, if you have questions, um, I'm more than willing to answer them because um, I know that I have a couple of different autoimmune diseases is that people have never really heard of. Um, they're pretty rare. So yeah, if you have questions, please just uh, ask away. I'd be happy to answer them. Thanks again for tuning in and listening to my story. And uh, if you could give it a thumbs up and uh, share it so everybody else can hear some wonderful news. Thanks so much.